Welcome to another Coach Farm tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to use OneInch to buy and sell Cogecoin. Because it's an aggregator, it can almost always give you the best fills on your trades with the least slippage. If you were to make two of the exact same trades, one using QuickSwap, um, for, sorry, let me pull that up real quick. QuickSwap. If you were to make two of the exact same trades, one using QuickSwap and one using OneInch, you'd probably get a slightly better fill and price on OneInch. It also has a great limit order protocol that I'll be covering towards the end of the video. Many of our users have been complaining about issues that QuickSwap has been giving them, so I just wanted to make sure that everyone is aware of the one inch protocol. All right, let's get started. First off, no AMMs. Sorry, when I say that, I mean automated market maker. That's what QuickSwap is. No AMMs can fix your network or RPC problems. We just have to make sure that you are using the right network and the right RPC. So before we go any further, we want to make sure that you have this set up. We have another video covering this if you have not set it up yet. All right, so you go to your Matic wallet. Uh, you need to make sure that you have polygon-rpc.com. This is the official RPC. It's an RPC aggregator and we'll find you the best route. Uh, if you don't want to trust me there, we'll just search it real quick. Matic RPC, go to their official docs. Do -do -do. There we go. New unified URL, this one. Um, it'll find you the best route using all of these RPCs. If you have a personal RPC, great, use that one. But if you don't know what that is, please use this RPC. Now onto one inch. Unfortunately, when you use one inch, you can't just type in, oh, sorry, I'm on the Ethereum network. Let me switch over to Polygon and connect my wallet. Polygon, MetaMask, connect, accept. Okay, unfortunately on one inch, you can't just type in Cogecoin like you can on QuickSwap because it's not an official, officially recognized token yet. So you'll have to grab the contract address. We'll do that by navigating over to cogecoin.io and scroll into the bottom and we can find the Cogecoin contract address right here. So I will copy that. Or I could copy I could copy it here too. And paste that into one inch. Here we go. And then we'll bring this up and say import. And that's what I want to do. And import. Okay. So what we can do is just trade here on one inch just like we would on QuickSwap. I'm going to trade 10 Coachcoin for, for Matic or USDC or anything. Um, I give permission. Take some gas. I can go ahead and just make that swap. Okay, the transaction is confirming, and I should see some more Matic in my wallet as soon as this confirms. Take a second for the balances to update. There we go. It's that simple. All right, let's talk about limit orders. Limit orders on one inch are amazing. When you make a, a limit order on one inch, it doesn't actually lock up the value of the tokens that you're trying to make the limit order on. Let me explain. Uh, let's say I have 10 Cogecoin, I wanna sell for a price of $2. I think maybe it could reach that in the next couple months. And if I go ahead and confirm this transaction, it will make a limit order to sell when the price hits $2, but it will still give me access to these 10 Cogecoin. So I could go ahead and just market order, sell them whenever I wanted and you know, the limit order would still be pending and I'd have to, have to cancel it for a few extra cents for gas, but it doesn't actually lock up the tokens that the limit order is using, which is amazing. On the other hand, QuickSwap, if I were to make the exact same limit order, it uses the Gelato protocol, by the way, it would take these 10 Coin and remove them from my wallet. So I would no longer have access to them, so I could no longer place a market order on them, for example. So anyway, limit orders are powerful. I really like them, but if you're going to do them, I highly recommend using the 1-inch protocol. Thank you so much for watching.